Good afternoon, York Town, and welcome to The Core. Today is December 8th, 2015. Let's get things started with a quick update on the afternoon weather conditions with our student meteorologist. Let's go to the weather. Hello, York Town. I'm student meteorologist Danny. The time is now 1230 and the temperature outside is 45 degrees. As you can see from the video behind me, we're experiencing partly cloudy skies. Today appears to be a perfect day to watch holiday movies. Have yourself a wonderful day, and let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for that update, Danny. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. It's the jokes of the day! Hi, my name is Claudia, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. What is the parent's favorite Christmas carol? Silent Night. <laughs> what did the math book say to the student? Do you want to hear my problems? Yeah. I'm Claudia, and these have been the jokes of the day. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Nice job, Claudia. Now let's get to know a sixth grade student at MESMS. The interviews! My name is Trevor Griffiths, and I'm on Team E. The thing I most enjoy about being a student is the responsibility we get. My favorite subject is social studies because we get to learn about history. My favorite activity outside of school is Boy Scouts. Three words that best describe me are responsible, smart, and kind. When I grow up, I want to be a college professor in history. That's all about me. Back to the studio. The word of the day. Thanks, kids. Let's go improve our vocabulary with the word of the day. Hi, my name is Helena, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is ambiguous. Ambiguous is an adjective. Ambiguous is defined as not clear, having two or more possible meanings. Uncertain and unclear are synonyms for ambiguous. In a sentence, ambiguous can be used like this. The questions on the English test were ambiguous. Ambiguous, can you use it today? Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Lauren with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Lauren, and this is true or false. True or false, orange rhymes with no other word. False. True or false, the 2004 Summer and Winter Olympic Games were hosted by Greece. True. True or false, strawberries have more vitamin C than oranges. True. Once again, my name is Lauren, and remember, sometimes when you win, you actually lose. And sometimes when you lose, you actually win. And sometimes when you win or lose, you actually tie. True or false. Here at Strang Middle School, we do our best to be safe, responsible, and respectful throughout the day. Sometimes this is easier to say than to actually do. To help you stay safe, responsible, and respectful, we've created a role-playing scenario for you to think about. Someone at lunch is getting bullied. What could you do if it really happened? How could you help? This is what some of the students at MESMS had to say. How you can help, help, help. If I saw someone being bullied day after day, I would tell them to go to the guidance counselor. If I saw a kid constantly getting bullied, I would tell a teacher. If I see someone being bullied day after day, I would stand up for them. If I see the same kid getting bullied every day, I would go to a teacher or the guidance counselor and tell them about it. If I see the same person being bullied, I would stick up for the kid. If I saw someone being bullied day after day, I would tell them to stop, and if they didn't, I would report it to a teacher. If I see the same student getting bullied every day, I would go help them and stick up for them or tell a teacher. If I saw the same student being bullied day after day, I would go stand up for them or tell a teacher. If I saw the same student being bullied day after day, I would report the bully to a teacher. If I see the same student getting bullied day after day, I would tell a teacher. If I saw a student getting bullied, I would tell the teacher and stand up for the student. If I see someone getting bullied, I can talk, talk to them and help them out. If someone was getting bullied, I would help them by telling them that it's going to be okay and telling them that they should tell a teacher. If someone was getting bullied by the same person, I would stand up to the bully and tell on him. If I saw someone being bullied day after day, I would tell the, a the assistant principal. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Today in History. Today in History. Hi, my name is Harold, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On December 8, 1776, George Washington's retreating army crossed the Delaware from New Jersey. 
Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on George Washington. Did you know that he, George Washington was a former redcoat? Did you know that George Washington was the first president? Thanks for watching today's Did You Know? Hopefully, now you know. Thanks, kids. People often refer to breakfast as the most important meal of the day. With that being said, we're wondering what breakfast food describes you the best. Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. If I could be any cereal, I'd be Lucky Charms because they're like mostly bland with like those mush marshmallows that are good and like energetic. So, yeah. I would be Cheerios because they taste good. If I could be any cereal, I'd be Honey Nut Cheerios because who doesn't like them? I'd like to be Frosted Flakes because they taste good. If I would be a cereal, I would be Lucky Charms because I'll be lucky. If I were breakfast cereal, I would be Cinnamon Toast Crunch because I'm nice and sweet and uh, crunchy. If I were to be a cereal, I'd be Fruit Loops because I'm loopy. A cereal to describe me would be Cocoa Puffs because I'm crazy. A cereal that describes me is Honey Nut Cheerios because I'm sweet. A cereal that describes me is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, because I'm sweet. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Julia, and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we learned about integers. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. The absolute value is a number's distance away from zero. Once again, my name is Julia, and this has been the lesson of the day. Let's take it back to the studio. That's our show for December 8th, 2015. We would like to thank all the students who contributed to today's episode. Please join us again tomorrow, and until then, remember to be safe, responsible, and respectful.